He was initially charged with a felony, but mysteriously, it was reduced to a misdemeanor. And the state realized they were charged with a felony. He could not fight. And this would impact the boxing economy. So they released him with the misdemeanor for knocking unconsciously his mother and his children. Melissa Graham, his other mother, was sent to the hospital for the same allegations. And today they still can't find the police report. Not to mention his ex fiance, Chantel Jackson, who filed a lawsuit against Mayweather. And she said that he kept her prison in his basement for two days and repeatedly beat her in the basement of his home. This sociopathic behavior of Mayweather came to a head when his best friend, Earl Hayes, called Mayweather to tell him he suspected his wife, VH1 star Stephanie Mosley, of being unfaithful. And Floyd Mayweather told Earl Hayes, you need to take care of that. And so Earl Hayes FaceTimed Mayweather. And Mayweather watched him shoot and kill Stephanie Mosley. Then he turned the gun on himself and killed himself. This happened on a Monday night around 7 a.m., Monday morning. Monday night, Floyd Mayweather was at the LA Clippers basketball game. The next day, Mayweather was at the LA Lakers game, as if nothing has ever happened. Now the question is, Floyd Mayweather, how can you witness your best friend kill his wife, then turn the gun on himself, and act like nothing has ever happened? So you won't get it twisted on this Mother's Day 2015 morning, afternoon. I'm not talking about Floyd Mayweather. I'm talking about America. I'm trying to figure out how can America watch a police officer shoot a man eight times in the back, fleeing from him. And week after week, you watch videos of violence against black men in America, and we go on and nothing has ever happened. We're going to let America and anybody else know, I'm not looking for your validation. 
Because I know he that sets free. The son is free indeed. They have inflicted psychological abuse 